previous video where we were talking about flat earth. And the last words that I said in the video were, they want you to fear the abyss. You know, when you hear in Catholicism, uh, the abyss is taught to you as the place where the devil, where the devil is. And, uh, you know, with CERN and all this stuff, it's, it's you're all in fear that they're going to open up this bottomless pit, and all these demons are going to come flying in. Well, it turns out you're the demon caught between the dimensions, and this is a two-dimensional, a two-dimensional reality. You're a flatlander. You're trapped in a computer simulation, and they've shown you that you are lying on a bed like this, like Neo, or like Captain Picard on the ship lying down. Uh, you might remember in the, um, with Leela and Fry going to see the grandparents in Sunny Isles, which they were lying down. So what I'm seeing here is that your three-dimensional body is lying down, and hopefully it doesn't have any tubes in it like Neo's body has tubes in it. So right now you would be the antimatter. You're the two-dimensional reality here right now. Your consciousness has been separated from your body. So how is this possible? What magic are they using to do this? It's something like this, people. You've been stripped of your consciousness or your body's been stripped of the consciousness. And it's stuck to this grid. As you see here. Our creator would have set up this wonderful creation shaped like the Vesica Pisces. Uh, you'll hear people talking about these ankle biters called archons that somehow seeped in to the machine. And now you have the reptilian uh, in your brain, your reptilian core to your brain that's responsible for fight or flight. You immediately, you react, you don't. You don't count to 20 before you, you do something. People just react. That's that reptilian part of your brain. And you, you've had part of yourself shut off, your divine feminine. Now you're all about war, money, sex, whatever. And this has turned one of these circles off, leaving what we have over here in the electronics book as the asshole. So you have two waves, which would be one masculine, one feminine. And here you're seeing one wave. The V is showing you the female, and if it was upside down, the triangle pointing up is the masculine. So the eyeball, we're literally on Sauron's eye. Our bodies are three-dimensional, and they're lying on a table. You're here on a CD. The four-faced, four-letter God in charge of your four-letter DNA writes all the code. So when you see a dreidel... That's the code writer. Uh, you might remember in South Park, Moses appeared in front of, for the juice works. And what you have is you might see the Taurus shape that they show you in images. This would be the CD right over here. Okay. And we're on loop. We're on loop. We're not supposed to be on loop. There's supposed to be the exit hole out of here. But what you'll see is... The, the exit hole has a hexagram over it. When you see the pictures of Saturn, they show you at the North Pole is the hexagram. That's actually under your feet. There's a hex spell over the Divine Feminine, and it's been blocked off. There's a hex spell on you. Look at your chakra chart. There's a seal of Solomon over your heart. Look at my, old, my other videos. You'll see that they put your cells in medical books in the shape of hexagrams which is um, a hexagram is what you use to seal up demons that's exactly what it's used for what the hell is that doing over your heart on a chakra chart and on the cell that's because listen the doorway out of here has a hex spell on it that's what they're showing you the north pole of saturn is actually under your feet and the south pole of saturn that they show you the pictures with the eyes actually above your head. They show you everything 
out of context. It's, it's freaking crazy. That Saturn stuff is right here beneath your feet. When you die, you're going to want to go back to your three-dimensional body, which would be like Dorothy through the tornado back to your body. And what's going to happen is that you're going to be stuck to this grid because your iron-rich diet is going to leave a magnetic residue around the star at your heart. When your cells fall off, your prison cells, 50 trillion prison cells, you've been fractalized. And when that body falls off you, that star would go right here back to the three-dimensional body. But this doorway has been blocked off with that hexagram. So when they show us pictures of Wired Magazine like this, what I'm seeing now is we are actually inside of Saturn. The sky is being projected up there. Life is but a dream for real. You are the antimatter. Your three-dimensional body is on the other side of that abyss. Now, the veil has been lifted, obviously, so things might be different right now. You know, you see this grid on your weather stuff. There's definitely a grid there. You know, you hear of L. Now, Emmanuel is what people say. No, everybody's got all these different names. But clearly, what I'm seeing here is that's the number sign. One cross up, one cross down, turn it sideways. It's the seal of Saturn, which you'll see the number sign. Turn it this way. You see the V and the V. This is the seal of Saturn right here. There's a virus in the matrix. And we need to get rid of this virus. Now, we were told only the devil hides his intent. Let's take a look at the matrix before the devil program is here. We have the original creation. See, straight lines are masculine. Curved lines are feminine, and now we have a blended gender blender, like Blender Magazine, and it's like, uh, like I showed in my previous video, or two videos back, you saw like Maxim is really mixed ma, and that's why you see this stuff right over here in that magazine. You see this stuff, that's crazy. You think that's what your children should be subjected to this year? Well, look at their... Every child is being subjected to cross-gender uh, role-playing this year. doesn't matter what you believe. What do you intend to do about this, people? You say you believe in God and all this stuff. It's that you were fed the reverse of truth in all things. You can't possibly imagine what's going on here. You are inside of a computer simulation and you are confused. You are missing half of your brain and you can't see what's hiding in plain sight. There's a reptilian virus in the computer and its job is to keep you from getting back to your three-dimensional body all right people that's the doorway out is through the abyss you can see here you're birthed into this place and you'll be birthed out of this place also it's that the original creation has been split up and now Everything's all fucked up. If you think this, what about uh, straight rights? I want to be straight. I don't want my children to be subjected to this stuff. Where's my rights? Everything was fine before Sodom and Gomorrah took over. And that's exactly what's going on. Planet X is planet cross and confused. It was supposed to hit in 2012. That's when they were suspect. That's when they had a plan for the gay marriage to go through. That's what it means. It's just that planet X is it. It hit a little bit late, but now you're on Planet X, cross and confused. That is cross and confused. Make no mistake about it. They want you cross and confused because you are the food. And as long as you're confused and you don't know who you are, then you're easy prey. And you don't see it. Do you think it's a plus to be confused? Do you think that's... I didn't grow up to that. You didn't grow up to that. You know, listen... You're only kidding yourself, people. That stuff that's stuff you should do behind closed doors. You don't rub it into your children's faces. Now you brought Sodom and Gomorrah upon us. And, you know, you say, I don't believe in God. Listen, people, God is the computer. And the, the virus in there may, has turned the computer into Satan. And Satan repre is represented by that black line right there. You're missing half of your brain. You can't see what's hiding in plain sight. You're fucking retarded. And... It's crazy. You know, your father places you into the space of your mother, turning the hexagram into a cube. 
that's the mother's womb, and then your mother births you into time. You spin it, the X, and you see clearly the swastika. You come out of the womb into this world, and you'll come out of the womb, okay, into the into your body. And you have to do it through the abyss. That's what it looks like, people.